health and agriculture sectors. And Dr. Augustine Cheriot, a presidential advisor on health, confirmed that the government will then partner with the World Bank to help farmers improve their yields through the use of modern dairy farming techniques and quality potato seeds. And Governor Hilary Barchok of Bomet County also welcomed the support, noting that the county has already submitted a list of required medical equipment to the national government. The governor also praised the shift from NHIF to the newly introduced SHA, which is expected to benefit all Kenyans or more Kenyans. The national government are uh, working with the county government to put together a team of extension staff, which we call the macrepreneurs. I think uh, within maybe this month, the governor will be launching, where I think we are getting at least five extension staff in every ward to support our farmers to enhance productivity. And uh, so that as a country, we are full uh, self-sufficient. We used to spend close to $4 billion every year as a country to import food. So we want to change that round uh, that to ensure that our farmers are the one producing the food instead of importing. We have shared the list of equipment that we require. And as we are speaking, that list has been sent to the people who are going to support us to ensure that the facility is well equipped. So even in the selection of the personnel that will be working with that facility, a lot of um, energy and a lot of information will be collected so that we don't make mistakes. Homer Bay County is taking steps to regulate sun.